Hello my friends, in today's video what I want to do is show you how to start building an email list quickly. Now, a lot of you watching this video may be brand new to email marketing and it may seem kind of overwhelming to you on how to get set up to start building your email list. Maybe you have your own website already, maybe you don't. Maybe you're an affiliate marketer and you're looking uh, to start doing the right things online to make money like email marketing and you're wondering how to get started. And it may seem a little complicated in setting up your own list, especially if you've never done it before. Um, but that's the thing I want to make sure to uh, explain is there'll be a series of steps somewhere, you know, on a blog post where this video will be or in an email where we send it out um, where you can follow along and there'll be more written content to help you through this process. Uh, otherwise, in YouTube, I'll leave a link to an actual blog post where the steps will be spelled out a little bit more. And I'll place this video there too as a refresher so that you can um, walk through this much easier. But just take it one step at a time. I started building my list many, many years ago, and at first I was intimidated by it. But the th one thing I want to say is my first two and a half years online, I made absolutely no money and I wasn't building my email list. I was just trying to advertise for free wherever I could promote, promote, you know, pages, uh, different affiliate programs. And I, I made absolutely nothing. It wasn't until I started building my email list that I started making money because email marketing is the number one way to produce sales and conversions online. And if you're not doing it, you need to. And so these steps may seem overwhelming, but they're not if you take them one step at a time, just focus on each step, follow through, and then move on to the next step. Don't let it freeze you and go, oh, this just looks too complicated. I ain't going to be able to figure this out. And if you have a budget, well, you could always pay somebody to get it done for you too, but it's not necessary. Um, so let's get started here. So the steps you're going to need to take is the first one you're gonna need a domain level email address because if you don't have a domain level email address, and what I mean by that is you need your own domain name like I own richardweberg.com, emoneypeeps.com, uh, and we have email addresses set up like support at richardweberg.com, support at emoneypeeps.com, admin at emoneypeeps.com. You need a domain level email address for deliverability reasons. If you want your emails to hit the inbox, you have to have your own domain name. You have to have your own domain level email address. That's the from address in an autoresponder service that's going you're going to list in an autoresponder service as the from email address. And if you try to use a free email address like Gmail or Yahoo or Microsoft, all that is going to do is get your email sent straight to spam because you don't own that email address. It's not yours. And a lot of spammers send email from free email services like that. So that first step is you need a domain level email address. Now, you don't necessarily need to have a website set up on, the, on that domain. The thing that you need to do is purchase a domain and hosting, and then you will add a domain level email address. And any of these services that you can get hosting through, and again, in a blog post, I'll list some of the top recommended hosting services to use. You can pick one out if you don't already have your own website and domain name and stuff and go get one. And it'll, it's going to cost you very little money to get started. Uh, the domain level email address you set up in your cPanel or whatever type of admin area they have for your um, domain. And they can help walk you through it. All these services we will list for getting a domain level email address are of the best of the best. Their support, uh, some of them have phone numbers you can call and they answer within literally seconds by English speaking people who will walk you through setting one up. So it's not complicated, but you absolutely need one if you're going to succeed in email marketing. And like I said, maybe you already have your own website set up. But if you don't, that is the first step. So once you get the domain level email address, what you're going to want to do now is you don't have to, if you want to start building your email as quickly, you don't have to go build a website on that. You could do that some other time, unless you already have that. If you already have that, great. All you need to do is set up the domain level email address. But otherwise, you don't need a full-blown website yet to get started. 
building your email list. You can build out that website later. So don't get hung up that you need to start building out a website and taking all that time. If you need, you're wanting to start building your list quickly and efficiently, just move on to this next step, which is choose an autoresponder service provider. So whatever email uh, software service you provide, you you choose from. Again, we'll list that in the blog post in the actual steps. And when you choose one, again, we're going to list the best of the best. These are our top recommended service providers. You're going to just get an account. Most of them have a free trial uh, or free 30 days or free till you reach a certain number of subscribers. So don't get too hung up on uh, too many details of it because you're just getting started. So compare the ones we list, see what fits what you're trying to do. If you just want a simple one, choose the simplest one. Otherwise, that's that step. You're just going to sign up to an autoresponder service provider and get your email software account chosen. So once you do that, it's as simple as that. Now what you do need to do, the next step, is decide on the lead magnet offer. So in doing so, a lead magnet is the enticement to get somebody to subscribe to your email list. So let's, uh, I have some tabs open up here. I'm going to share with you some simple and uh, simple offers and lead capture pages. Some are long form, some are short form, but I'm going to give you some examples because one of the steps will be to set up a lead capture page with your lead magnet offer on it. And you can see by this example, this is a lead capture page. This is a nice clean email capture page. And basically the offer is an ultimate checklist, a free PDF. That's the offer. That's the lead magnet. How I grew my email list to 100,000 plus subscribers without paid traffic with a 90 minute workshop. That's the offer. So then if somebody's interested, what they would do is click on get my checklist and they would put in their name and their email address. You see it has a pop up for the form. This is called a form. And they would put in their information and click yes, send me the ultimate workshop checklist. And this is the offer. And that's what is the enticement to get somebody on your email list. We refer to it as a lead magnet. And you can collect whatever information you want. In most cases, you're going to set up your form. You're going to want to at least collect name and email. That's my recommendation. Some people recommend only email. But I like to have first name, and that's for personalization of email messages because there are tags later on you will use to learn in your email autoresponder where you can use a little tag and it will pull the person's name and you can personalize the email automatically. So that's why I always love to collect name and email. Some people like to collect just email. They think it has less friction. And in some forms, you will collect more information. That It all depends on what you're trying to promote and sell. So this is one example of a lead magnet and a good example of a little bit longer form lead capture page. That's what this is, a landing page. Here's another one. This is a gold IRA kit. And again, this is the lead magnet. Get the free 2022 gold IRA kit Americans are using to protect their retirement savings. And you can see this form. This is a lead capture page. Collects name, last name, phone number, email, and is required. Because that's what they're looking to do is not only email you by follow-up if you were to subscribe to this offer. They want to call you as well. And usually people who are serious about something like a gold IRA or creating more wealth, you're going to use a bit longer opt-in form information collection process. So that's why this one has first name, last name, phone number, and email. You can always collect phone number later on. All depends on your marketing afterward. Are you looking to call people right away? What are you looking to do? Biggest thing is being able to send them an email, and you can collect any other data by specifying in a form, which is not hard to do. So here's another great example of a lead magnet and the lead capture page. The lead magnet, of course, is spelled out on the lead capture page. And again, this is a really simple form. It's a little bit longer. It's got a little bit more information, some testimonials, you know, promoting this particular company. 
And then here's an example of uh, inline form. This is uh, our eMoney Peeps blog. This is just in the bottom of one of the articles. You can see get your free course now. This is the lead magnet, simple lead magnet, get your free course. We spell it out in different areas on our website, but we wanted to just show you an example of an inline form, which creating on your own website is a little bit more uh, difficult to do than building standalone lead capture pages. But as you get more and more experienced, if you have a website, you can always pay somebody through a cheap service at like Fiverr to uh, connect your lead capture form and put it on your website and connect it to your autoresponder that you're using. Um, it's not as complicated as it sounds, but it can be done very inexpensively, or you can figure it out because there's a lot of great theme builders depending upon if you have an existing website, how it was built, like Thrive Themes um, is on some of our websites that we own. And on there, they have a built-in lead capture page uh, plugin. So it's really super easy to add an API key um, from an email autoresponder service and pop it in a box and it automatically connects the form to our autoresponder of choice. So here, that's another example of a lead magnet. It's a free course. Like I said, it's spelled out in other places on our site. Now, here's another example. Here is a lead capture magnet of um, a webinar. So this webinar, how to grow six-figure earning email list in six months, that is the offer. And this is a webinar and here's the date and time and person would click on this and yes, save my spot. Again, here pops up the opt-in box, first name, email, cell phone for text reminder optional. So you can, you can specify then a form that it is optional. Maybe somebody does want an optional text message to remind them. So that's a really unique thing here and making sure that they put the words optional so that it's not required, a little less friction. And for those who really want that reminder, they can put it in. It's not going to be required of the form to be able to submit it. And that is another option when wanting to collect more information. You can always put the placement text where it says something like optional. And that's very easy to do within an autoresponder because with these Auto email autoresponder services like GetResponse, Active Campaign, um, Constant Contact, they all have lead capture page builders, standalone lead capture page builders with pop up boxes, with stuff like this that are all drag and drop, copy and paste that you can automatically connect to the autoresponder you're using because this is a service they provide. So it's literally selecting a campaign that you want to connect it to in your autoresponder service and using their lead capture page, it's all built and done in one place. You just need to come up with the type of offer or maybe you already have the type of offer you have in mind to start building your email list. Otherwise, in the post that will have uh, the steps located, we'll also list a couple tools that you can use to build out a uh, lead capture offers, lead capture magnets. You can uh, do it through a free ebook, a free checklist, free video, uh, a video presentation, a free video presentation. Uh, what you do, or uh, you know, like this one is a webinar, what you create as your offer all depends on what kind of thing or product or service you're promoting. Um, if you're promoting a business opportunity, like here's uh, the HBA, uh, lead capture page for it. It's an all-in-one business that you can use as a done-for-you service to uh, build your email list where they basically have done-for-you pages. Um, but this is promoting a business opportunity. So if you're promoting a business opportunity and you want to build your own lead capture pages for it, again, you can do it right inside the autoresponder. And you can see this offer is basically the opportunity and in enter your information to see more. And lots of people subscribe to this type of offer. So then um, that's some examples of lead uh, magnets and lead capture pages. And that's, you know, one of the things that you will be able to do right inside the autoresponder that you choose to use. And it's very easy to do. And then once you decide on that lead magnet offer, the next step would be actually going inside your autoresponder service 
and creating an email marketing campaign list. And all these autoresponder email services that we will list have instructions on how to do that. See, we're giving you choices. I'm not in this video sharing one service to use. Otherwise, I could walk you through doing that. But I want to give options in this particular article that we're writing because not everybody's going to want to use the same service. All depends who's reading it and what kind of business they're looking to build out. They may be an affiliate marketer. They may have their own products and services. So it's important that you set up an email marketing campaign list because that is how you're going to tie your lead capture page to a particular list and that is how they are going to communicate with one another. And that's where your leads are going to get stored for that campaign is in that email marketing campaign list. So you're going to create one in the autoresponder service. It, they'll have instructions for creating one. And it, they're very easy to create. It's just a few steps to do so. The next step you'd want to do is create a lead capture page. And I've already given you some great examples of lead capture pages and have spelled out to you that the autoresponder services that you choose out of the ones that we will list all have that service provided as part of their email autoresponders. They have a full lead capture and landing page builder. So you will be able to do it and connect them automatically and build them right within your autoresponder. And that makes it so much easier than years ago when I built my first lead capture pages, I had to learn HTML and learn how to really basically write Chinese is what it looked like to me, HTML, and make it into a web page that actually worked. And that took me weeks and weeks to learn how to do. Nowadays, with all these done-for-you aspects and how autoresponders have full lead capture page builders and everything like that, that are drag and drop, copy and paste, um, it's just like a basic editors and they work wonderfully well. They come with templates, so you don't even have to like design it or any of that kind of stuff. So You'll create a lead capture page. You'll create a thank you page. Now, that's what I want to give you an example of. Next is a thank you page. So here's a basic thank you page. This is for Sales Funnel Super Hacks. It's, uh, the offer was a free book, basically, which is a free ebook is on the way. Please check your inbox for an email with the subject line, Book Sales Funnel Super Hacks. And that's smart to do in spelling out a thank you page. This is what we refer to as a bridge page. It's a type of thank you page that before they give you the offer, nine times out of 10, they redirect you to go find the, your the first email they sent you. And this is very smart. This is to get your people engaged reading your emails immediately. And nine times out of 10, we build bridge pages like this so that people go and open the emails first. And the offer is in the email. And this is a very smart way to do marketing because you're getting them to interact and go find your first email. And a lot of times I'll spell out in here, hey, make sure to check your spam folder as well, just in case they sent it to spam. Because you never know nowadays with email providers, sometimes they'll send their emails to spam. And then you get people taking them out. And sometimes I provide a little other instructions on there, which says, please take the email out of spam. Market is important. So you do not miss any of our follow-up emails with you. And it's just a short little thank you page. We call them bridge pages. And there's other type of thank you pages that you can use. You don't have to create a thank you page. But again, the email autoresponder services that you choose will make it very easy to create a thank you page. That Because that's how it works. So somebody comes along, like this lead capture page. They click on get my checklist. They put in their information. They'll either be brought to a thank you page like this or to the actual product landing page. So if you have your own website already, you might already have your own product thank you page or service thank you page, and you would just set that as the thank you page when you set up your form inside your autoresponder. It's just adding the thank you page link. Otherwise, you can create one very easily. As you can see, this is nothing complicated. If you're an affiliate marketing marketer, maybe you have a... Uh, Thank you page, that's something like this. This is another bridge page example, something that I created for the HBA. Once somebody subscribes here, then generally I bring them to this type of thank you page, which is kind of is a breakdown of what they're gonna go, they're gonna get. And they would click on one of these links to follow through and be brought to the actual sales page, which is an affiliate link. 
So this is the actual uh, sales page. This is and my first three days, I had off. two. This is a long form sales page for the opportunity. And this works just as well too, where you don't even create a thank you page and you use your referral link as the thank you page. And that works just as great. We created a little bridge page just to, to iter reiterate a few things, make a few things stand out before they got to the sales page. There's multiple ways you can do it. You just have to come up with a process that you're comfortable with or that's easy. You know, maybe at first, if you're promoting an opportunity or uh, uh, affiliate product that you're promoting, you just use the sales page. You just use the sales page as the, the landing page, as the thank you page. And that makes it really simple to get started later on. You know, I didn't build these things, all of them right at once. I used for longest time, I use my referral links as my thank you page. I only learned to build thank you pages later. So if it's too much for you to do at first, just use, if you're an affiliate marketer, use the referral links. So that covers the thank you page. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you create some automatic, automated follow-up emails. So you want to create a few, you know, two, three follow-up emails. Again, there'll be instructions inside the email autoresponder service provider that you choose on how to create follow-up emails. Now, writing them is as simple as just spelling out the offer and a link to go collect it and introduce you or your business to whoever your new leads are. And creating those first follow-up emails, we only re recommend creating you know, a few um, so that you can follow up with them automatically. So that means if you're gone, you're not at home, you're not running your business for a week, you know, you got a week of follow-up emails. You know, we don't create much more than that because we depend upon broadcast because at any time as you build your email list, you can broadcast your entire campaign list or your all your campaign list if you have more than one all at once by the click of a button. You compose an email, set the campaign list that it's to go out to, and you can literally email thousands and thousands of people by the couple clicks of a button after you compose the email. You don't do it individually. That's what automation and the beauty, that's how you make money while you sleep. That's how you make money while you're on the beach. You have several follow-up emails that go out automatically, and you can sit on the beach with a laptop and broadcast an email to your entire list and promote an offer to them anytime you want that only takes a few minutes to do. And email marketing is the highest return on investment you're ever going to find. This is the key to your success with all the marketing that we do nowadays after me and my son doing this as partners now for you know, between the two of us, we have over 29 plus combined years of marketing online, you know, our experience together. And in that time, the highest ROI of everything we do is our emails. Building our email list and following up with our leads, broadcasting emails to our list. That is where all of our money is made. A small percentage comes from social media, and blogging and other certain things that we do. It's still building an email list is what we do with the most of our activities, 99% of them, because it's those activities that will produce leads on our email list and we can follow up with and then make money. So don't underestimate this process, no matter if it takes you even a little while to get this set up. Just follow the steps like I spelled out one by one that'll be in this blog post that where this video will be posted on. And like I said, under the video on YouTube, go to the description. You can click on a link to the full blog post so you can go there and follow along uh, more in detail with this, the steps that, you know, be spelled out. Uh, plus, you can watch this video again anytime you want. But that's the process. And then um, once you have some follow-up emails in your campaign, you're going to start advertising your lead capture page. And... You can do that through multiple free and paid means. Um, and as you do that, you will start to get new leads. And as you start to get new leads, you start sending out broadcast emails and following up with your leads and let your other automated follow-up messages do their job. And we recommend following up with your email list at least out of a week, four to five times a week. Uh, we try to email every single day. Sometimes we email twice a day. Uh, 
because it doesn't take long to send an email to your list. It's literally minutes. You know, composing an email, you'll get faster and faster the more experience you have. Um, and if all this sounds way too complicated for you and you don't have your own website, you don't have your own products or services, um, and you just want to get started, like, and you want more of where this stuff is, a lot of it is done for you, then use a done-for-you system. I'll leave a link to the HBA. It's an all-in-one business opportunity that has a complete funnel builder. You'll still need to choose an autoresponder. You'll still need to buy a domain-level email address. But once you do that, they'll have completely full written-out video instructions for their specific tools that they are using, and they will spell it out over the shoulder, watch what they are doing, if you think that you can't do this process and you just want to get building your list and you want a more of a done for you system, we will provide a link for that as well. So just remember these steps, you know, you're going to want to learn how to eventually do these on your own because the more skills you develop, the more doors and opportunity it opens for you. Um, we create offers all the time and promote multiple offers running all at once because you will get really good at this stuff over time. And yeah, it may take you a little time to set this up in the beginning, but if you follow these steps, it's not complicated because just like the autoresponder service providers, they have so many tutorials and video walkthroughs and explain to you how to do stuff, plus the, the lead capture page and landing page builders where you can automatically integrate them into your campaign list and the templates they provide, making it drag, drop, and easy. It is super easy to do. Uh, probably the hardest thing on this entire list that will be for you to do is get a domain level email address. And that's not complicated because if you get stuck, you put in a support ticket, ask how to do it, they'll give you step-by-step -step instructions or actually do it for you um, in a web hosting provider. And then, Maybe other than that, the hardest thing will be putting, creating some automated follow-up emails, maybe because you feel you're not a good writer. Um, use some examples. I'm sure you've opted in to somebody else's list before and you got a first follow-up email. Go look at what theirs look like. Uh, all depends on what you're promoting. Do you have a business that you're promoting tons and tons of products through e-commerce? So what you're going to would do is create emails that bring people back to your store or your specials. Um, anything to get them to become a customer and all depends on the type of businesses or type of business that you're promoting and just following the steps and getting it done. And if you're trying to integrate, you know, uh, or create a lead capture page on your own website, like I, I, I talked about briefly earlier, you can easily go to Fiverr and there are Fiber is a services, done for you services uh, products where you can go type in and search for what you want done and you can find somebody to do it on Fiverr really inexpensive. Um, you can have somebody, if you already have a website, uh, build you a standalone lead capture page and integrate your autoresponder for you. Because doing it on your own website, depending how it was built, can be a little bit different to do. Like I said, with uh, theme builders, if you used one, a lot of them have, you know, lead capture page templates and plugins already installed in your website, which make it a breeze. Um, so then it's a lot easier to do. But if you have a website that's been built by somebody else or things like that, there there is a little bit a technical aspect to it that you would want if you have no experience doing so paying somebody like on a service like Fiverr. And again, in the blog post, we will leave a link to Fiverr in case you need something done. Um, but otherwise, my friends, this is how you get building an email list very quickly and the right way so that you actually start making sales. You need to do these steps and you need to do them in a way that works for what you're promoting. And as long as you follow them one at a time, you will get them done. If I could do them years ago, believe me, I am not the type of person that's technical. I'm the type of person that has a fire and invites some buddies over and drinks a couple cases of beer. Um, that's the type of person of my, I like to hunt. I like to fish. I was never a technical person. Um, and if I can learn this stuff and do it, anybody can today. It's way easier to do. Um, do not be intimidated by this process. I cannot stress that enough. Just 
do it one step at a time, follow along our instructions, and you will be off building your list faster than you can shake a stick. Um, other than that, my friends, I hope this information helped you and helps you to understand the process. Um, and, you know, that's one last thing I want to spell out before I go real quick is, so what happens is how building your email list works is when you advertise your lead capture page, like if this was what your lease, you, if this was, sorry, if this was your lead capture page, you would be advertising this maybe in social media, social media, or maybe in paid traffic, wherever you're advertising it. What would happen is when somebody's interested, they click on this button or it's in the form already. They just put in their information, like in this one here. They put in their information, just click, heck yes, I want to see. Or, and in this case, they click this, they put in their information. Yes, send me the ultimate workshop checklist. Now, what happens is because your autoresponder in this lead capture page or the, any of the lead capture pages, like I shared with you, are connected, their information gets stored in your autoresponder service you're using in the campaign you set up. And when it gets stored there, it stays there until they unsubscribe or you delete them for some reason. Um, but otherwise, we've had people on our email list for over 15 years that buy from us to this day regularly. That's the beautiful thing about building an email list is it's long term. As your list gets bigger and bigger and bigger, you have more people that you've built like know and trust with that will automatically buy for you and that's why email marketing is so powerful and why you need to build an email list because we get instant sales every time we send an email to our list okay which takes us minutes to do but once somebody puts in their information it gets stored in there and then they get your automatic email follow-ups you always set the first one for a delay of zero. So your first email that you put into your campaign list, you put for a delay of zero, which means they get it automatically after subscribing. And they will get that first email and you either deliver the offer immediately on a thank you page, or you create a bridge page that sends them to go find your offer in your first in, um, your first email that you sent to them that gets sent automatically and usually you spell out what to look for in the subject line to find that first email which again is very smart because you're directing them to immediately engage with you by email and like I said you can even put a blurb in there about uh, check your spam folder as well and that's why I like using bridge pages because it gets people engaged immediately with your emails and then they get your follow-up emails, the ones you set to go out automatically, they get those in succession. The next day, you set the delay of each one of one, and they get it the next day at the same time they subscribed, and they get however many follow-up emails automatically that you have in your campaign. They'll just keep getting them, and that's your follow-up process. And then you can also broadcast an email to them anytime you wish. And once you have this process set up, it all it, it shortens your marketing time because your number one goal is to only build your email list and send follow-up emails. So your whole focus is in creating content that builds your email list and advertising to build your list, like if you're using paid advertising and you're sending an email out every day. And as your list gets bigger and bigger, and you have more and more content out there, it gets to be a really uh, not lengthy, lengthy process. It becomes where you can literally build your business in 10 hours a week and make a lot of money. Um, when you get good at this stuff, you can literally um, not spend a lot of time doing it. And that's the beauty of the dot-com lifestyle. You can bring a tablet anywhere you want. And if you're building your email list, remember, over time, eventually, that will become instant sales as your list gets bigger and bigger. People will be interested in your offers every time you send an email. And so it's like printing money. And that's the beauty of email marketing. So however long it takes you to get the setup, tackle it. Get it done, and you will be on your way off building your list quickly and effectively if you just follow the advice that I spelled out in this video. Other than that, my friends, I hope you have a great day. 
and we'll see you on another video.